Hello and welcome to Glassnode Academy. Today we're looking at the Pule Multiple, which is a long-term cyclical oscillator that's trying to capture the overall behavior of the mining market. It takes into account the profitability and the overall dynamics of what's going on with Bitcoin's compulsory sell side. So the Pule Multiple is a cyclical oscillator that really captures the aggregate profitability of the Bitcoin mining industry. So given that miners are compulsory sellers and generally have long time horizons for their investments, what the Pure Multiple does is it tracks the current miner income in US dollars, which is generally how all power and capex is covered by miners, and it compares it to the yearly average of that income. And what this provides is an indication of when we have a high degree of profitability relative to that yearly baseline, which can then create an incentive to sell, or in periods when we have very poor profitability, suggesting that there is some form of income stress and potential minor capitulation that can then change the overall hash share as it's distributed across the network. So in terms of the metric inputs that go into constructing the pure multiple, the primary one is the daily aggregate minor income or the total reward in both the block subsidy and fees as priced in US dollars. And the pure multiple then takes the ratio between the daily aggregate income versus the yearly 365 day average minor income. So what this metric is really tracking is what is the magnitude of potential compulsory sell pressure that's coming from the miners. So it looks at minor profitability. So whether we have miners making an, an extraordinarily large amount of value compared to their yearly average. Are they under a period of income stress where perhaps their income has fallen well below their yearly average? And are we getting to a point of minor capitulation where the overall market is severely underneath their yearly average and therefore suggesting widespread income stress across the market? And in terms of some key values that we can pay attention to, if we're looking at very high values of the pure multiple, it's suggesting that the current daily income is much higher than their yearly average, and that very high profitability is creating an incentive to sell, which can then create an increase in the overall liquid supply as miners liquidate parts of their treasury in order to take advantage of that market strength. And conversely, very low values of the pure multiple suggest that the current daily income is substantially less than the yearly average, and that can generally suggest that there's a capitulation event in play. And at the end of large mining cycles, we can have a shift in the overall share of hash rate where weaker miners have to drop off the network, turning off their machines, stronger miners gain a larger share of the hash network, and therefore they can actually sell fewer coins in order to cover the same fiat expenses. So now let's jump across to Glassnode Studio and we'll see how this metric appears in practice. So here we are in Glassnode Studio. We're looking at the Bitcoin Pure Multiple metric. And the first thing that we can note is that it's a strongly cyclical oscillator, transitioning between very low values at the end of bear markets, up into very, very oversold levels at the top of bull markets, and then reversing back down during bearish trends again. What we can also note is that we have our halving cycles marked in these dashed lines. And one can note that the daily aggregate income relative to the yearly average drops by 50% immediately on those halving events. And what this generally represents is a reduction in overall minor profitability by roughly 50%, assuming that price doesn't change. And therefore, there is a degree of income stress that enters the market on each instance when the halving occurs. Simultaneously, as we get downtrends in the pure multiple and during the bearish trends, at the very end when we get a final capitulation point, what we tend to see is that miners have to start switching off ASICs. We see machines and hash share start to grow in some of the stronger miners with lower aggregate costs of power and capex, and their overall share of the network grows which then means that they can sell fewer coins to cover their overall expenses. And this generally removes what would otherwise be supply coming onto the market. Conversely, as we transition up into the end of blow off tops, miners are realizing substantial multiples relative to their overall yearly average. We can see values at the top here anywhere above four, suggesting that they're making approximately four times what their yearly average is. And this creates a substantial incentive for miners to sell and perhaps even liquidate parts of their treasury to take advantage of that market strength and therefore suggest what may be going on in that overall liquid supply. So that's the overall of the pure multiple and how it captures the minor aggregate income and compares it to that yearly average to measure profitability and the potential for miners to be liquidating or essentially holding on to more of their coins.